Hi you guys. So hopefully you watched that first video on the first slide. Um, but we are going to go over solving equations with a given um, value. So we just are going to plug in what they tell us the value is to see if it is a solution or not. So a lot of your answers are going to be yes or no um, rather than actually solving through. So your learning target today is I can find out whether the given value is a solution to an algebraic equation. Okay. So here's our first one. Um, I always feel like I'm yelling in these, but you have control of the volume. <laughs> Anyways, so what they're telling us is that they're telling us that x, they have 3x equals 15. And they're telling us that x's value is 15. So what that means is I'm going to take x's value of 15 and I'm going to put it in for x. So this would be the same as 3 times 15 equals 15. Right away before I even attempt to solve this, I know that 3 times 15 is not equal to 15. So this would have an answer of no, it is not a value. If I were to go through and finish solving just to make sure, I would do 3 times 15 and get 45, and 45 and 15 do not equal each other. So again, I would show that this is not equal to each other and x equal 15 is not a value or a solution to this equation. Next question is x plus 4 equals 12 when x equals 16. So I would put 16 in for x would be 16 plus 4 is equal to 12. Okay so right away I'm going to solve well 16 plus 4 equals 20 and 20 and is not equal to 12. So this is not a solution. So my answer would be no or no, not a solution or this equal symbol. So if you see an equal symbol, if you see a line through that equal symbol, that is saying not equal. Okay. So any of those answers would be correct. Not a solution, no, or the no equal or the line through the equal symbol. Next question is G plus 12 equals 32. If I were to plug in 22 for G, 22 plus 12 equals 32. Yes or no? Well, I would take 22 plus 12 and get 34, and 34 equal to 32. Yes or no? Big fat N-O. Not a solution. Okay. Next one says Y take away 45 equals 15 when y equals 60. If I were to plug in 60 for y, um, I would end up with 60 take away 45 is equal to 15. There's two ways to do these. So the first way would be just to solve the left. But when I have a bigger answer like this, what I can do is I can stop and switch it and look at this. Well, is 45 plus 15 equal to 60? I should be able to have it go both ways. So let's just stick with the subtraction. I'm going to erase those parentheses. So if I did 60 take away 45, I'm going to stack mine because that part just makes more sense to me. I'm going to cross off the 6, make it a 5, borrow that 1 over. So now I have 10 take away 5 is 5, and 5 take away 4 is 1. So what I found out is 15 is my solution, and 15 does equal 15. So my answer is yes. 60 is a solution for y minus 45 equals 15. Okay, next one, fractions, my favorite. Um, so first thing that I notice is that I have unlike denominators. So I have halves and I have fourths. So I have x plus 1 half equals 3 fourths. So first, I'm going to get that half into fourths. And to change 2 into 4, so if I have 1 half and I want it to be equal to 4, what times 2 is going to give me 4? 2, right? So I'm going to do 2 times 2 equals 4, and whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top, and 1 times 2 is 2. So I'm going to rewrite x plus 2 fourths equals 3 fourths, and that they're saying x equals 1 fourth. Now I can attempt to solve because all of my denominators are the same. So really this is no more difficult. I just had to do a quick common denominator switch to get all my denominators to be the same before I moved forward. So now if I were to plug in 1 fourth plus 2 fourths, does that equal 3 fourths? Yes, it does. So my answer would be yes. Okay. Um, next one is 6h equals 36 when h equals 6. 
So I'm going to plug in 6 for H. So it would be 6 times 6. Remember, if a number and a letter are right next to each other, um, they're just saying multiply. They're leaving out the multiplication symbol and the parentheses just to keep things nice and neat. So 6H is the same as 6 times H. So when we plug 6 in for H, I have 6 times 6. And does that equal 36? Yes, it does. So it is a solution. Next one, N divided by 3 or n over 3 is equal to 12. n equals 30. So I'm going to rewrite this 30 over 3 equals 12. Well, when I look at this 30 divided by 3, I know the answer to that, excuse me, is 10. So 10 equals 12. No, not a solution. Does not work. And last one. Yes, last one. So they're saying 120 is equal to 6 times 2 if I plug W in for 2. So it's 120 equals 6W, where W equals 2. So I'd have 120 equals 6 times 2. Well, we know, you guys, that 6 times 2 is 12, not 120. So this is a no, no solution, does not equal whichever answer makes most sense to you. For homework tonight, it's in the comments below this video or it's back in Google Classroom. Make sure that you reach out via Google Chat or um, let me know in an email that you need some help. But otherwise, plug them in, see if it's a solution, answer yes or no. I'll talk to you guys soon. I miss you all so much.